Hi guys, welcome back. Beautiful Leah, our paint pal is in the studio. And I'm going to share with you guys another super quick design. So you saw the kitty cat, which was like literally you should be able to practice that so you can knock it out in under two minutes. And then this is gonna be a super basic beginner butterfly. Uh, because again, such a popular design, very much requested. So I'm gonna be doing it using a rainbow cake. This is a rainbow cake. So what it is, is it's multiple colors of face paint inside of one container, and it helps you create a really fast, in, um, colorful background. So the way that you use it is you're a sponge, and you're going to spritz the surface of your rainbow cake so that it's nice and moist. And then you're gonna take your sponge and you're gonna rub it directly across the surface so that you're picking up all of the colors on your sponge. You want to make sure that your sponge is not too wet because if it's super wet, you're just going to create kind of like a leaky mess. Then you're going to look at the face and you're going to look at it in kind of like pizza pies and triangles. So you're going to want to create these triangle shapes. So I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to start on like a 45 degree angle cut through her eyebrows and I'm going to lay the sponge down and I'm going to bounce it down in a downward motion. Once I get to the corner of the eye, I head in the opposite direction, I lay my sponge down, and then I start working my way back up, and I lift it up. Your goal is to get the perfect butterfly shape, but you see how nice and beautifully blended that is? You're able to get all these colors down as your background color super fast with kind of just like a few bounces of your sponge. So I'm gonna flip it around, I'm gonna do it on this side. So this way you now, you see how fast and easy that is to create a full butterfly mask? Cause now all you have to do is start outlining. So for those of you that are just beginning your face painting journey, I'm gonna recommend that you practice a lot of your line work in white. So we're gonna create the border of the butterfly, but I recommend practicing in white versus black because with white you can forgive any mistakes or lines that you don't like. Black is a little bit of a harder color to erase. So I start off by loading my brush with a lot of white, again, generously, all the way up to the ferrule. You want a nice load. And then we'll start off by just making a little dot in the middle for the body. And then I'm going to press my brush and lift it so that I finish off on a nice tip. Now from the base or the head of my butterfly, I'm gonna come up, swirl, I can just bring it down for something fancy. I'll do another swirl right there. So this is the beginning and the hardest part, I think, about our butterfly. So now, since you have the shape of your butterfly, all you have to do is start outlining. So I'm just going to trace my butterfly. So I'm going to just create some of these lines that we call teardrops. I'll do three on that side and three on this side. And then to make it easier to know where you're going, I'm going to, from the corner of the eye, I'm going to make a swirl coming up. Just like that. And then I'm just going to connect it. So now I have the top of my butterfly wing. And to repeat that same step, I'm going to have a swirl coming down. And I'll follow the same thing I did there. One stroke, two stroke, three strokes. And then all I did was connect, just like that. So now I have the bottom of my butterfly. Let's repeat on this side. Swirl up, and then connect. Swirl down, three teardrops, and then connect. And you see how fast and simple that butterfly is? Now you have a couple of ideas that you can work off of and play with here. And this is where I like you to actually brush up on your skills. So we have this little area right inside of here that has no line work around it. This is when you want to practice your dots. And to practice your dots, you're going to press on your brush, press, press, and try to get smaller as you head into the corner of the eye. So press, press, lighter, gentler, more gentle, till you finally get a small enough dot. And this is a great way for you to practice some of the elements that are gonna really jazz up your face painting. So since we went from big to small here, let's do the same thing here. Press, 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 smaller, smaller, smaller. So you see that's a really nice effect. Press, 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 smaller, smaller. See what I mean about her being the best model? 
So you see guys, this was really a very super fast, super impressive butterfly in my opinion. So now what we're gonna do, take a little bit of glitter, right? Very glitter. That's right, close your eyes. So I'm just going to tap it mostly over the white area because that's where it's gonna stand out. So right on her nose as well right inside of here you don't want your glitter to overpower the design you just want the glitter to be a nice embellishment a little shine a little shine she's my girl so finally we're gonna finish off with a little bit of lipstick I have them open their mouth so that it's a little bit easier for me to find the shape of their lips because when it's closed sometimes they're puckering up and then I'm just covering her lips and finally add a little dab of glitter right in the center right there to make it kind of stand out so i just love that effect so this was a super fast butterfly once you get those strokes down that i used for the kitty cat that i used for the whiskers that i used all along the edge of this butterfly design it's really going to help you to start learning and manipulating your brush so that you're comfortable making all types of strokes because once you learn those thick to thin lines your face painting is really going to start popping but i wanted you guys to see how fast you can create a beautiful butterfly mask using those rainbow cakes i was talking about so you no longer have to feel like you have to take 10,000 art courses to accomplish these beautiful faces when there's tools available for you. So thank you again for joining me. You know how to find me at sillyfarm.com. Check me out on Facebook. I'm Heather Green. This is my beautiful girl Leah and I hope you have a great day. Happy painting.